and see. There we go. <laughs> that's extreme close up, Tony. Well, well, too much Tony. I'm not sure that's. Too much Tony on the internet. Over the Is that what we can say? Yeah, okay. You good there? Getting the chiller on the. Oh, I see. Okay. What's going on? Another chiller? Another oh. chiller? Not just another chiller. Oh, okay. There's never just another <laughs> chiller. That <laughs> was yeah. a lot of compressor. This one was a compressor we refer to as our R8. Okay. Compressor, right? Centrifugal. And it's a compressor that we built for our YK product line to recover capacity we lost when we moved from 134A to a 1234ZE, right? And I right. told you transparently that was as much as 25%, right? And so this compressor technology, you got to see it by itself. Behind us is a chiller that uses that. Now this chiller is has a capacity of about 3,000 tons wow. of cooling, which is a lot, right? You think about how many. Right. So I'll just to give you an example that one of those modules of the YMAE that we saw, we saw a two module, one of those modules, right? Mm -hmm. Take a hundred of these, hundred of those to equal this. Crazy, huh? In terms of capacity. So, um, so now you can see. I call the, that a beast. That's a beast. So now you see the rest of the story, right? So here is that as we saw it before. So that's the motor. Right, This the, the motor now behind here, right? right? Driving through the gearbox. the gearbox to the compressor itself. And then of course, how the compressor itself connects so motor, to the evaporator. Coupler. Correct, coupler, yep. Gearbox. Gearbox, compressor. Compressor, volute. Volute. Did we call yeah, that the that volute? would be the volute, yep, absolutely. And so. then the suction line. And then the suction line here, so. With a ginormous sight glass. And as you can see from the tag on it, I think that's, you know, accurate. Yeah. It weighs, just that piece alone weighs 800 wow. pounds. So, but now you can see it all hooked up. So to help complete the story. Right. And of course, because of the design of this, being an open drive compressor, this could be any number of motors, right? That we mm -hmm. could drive this with, right? But in this case, um, this is our motor, right? For powering this with electric. Mm -hmm. And in this case, this Do would be- Do you make the motors? We, we have, the motors are made to our specification. You we have don't, someone, we don't but build they're building them. your motor. It's your they're, motor. It's basically our motor, right? right, right? right. But it's, it's, it's ours engineered and designed. Someone manufactures it for us. And the unique piece about this, and a little different than some other chillers you may have seen with two compressors, this has an econ a comp second compressor for economizer. Right, to run a an economizer. Compressor? A second compressor. So here's the big one. I this, don't think I've ever seen that before. This is the one doing doing the bulk of the work. Okay. Right, producing the 3,000 tons. And that's a medium voltage compressor because that one pulls a lot of power, right? And then right here is a smaller version of that that is doing the economized cycle. So when you say economize cycle, you mean the lower loads or? No, we're, we're actually, the economization is in optimizing the refrigerant as we're continuing to okay. condense and evaporate. So, so in a normal, in a standard chiller, there's an economizer. Correct. But it's a vessel, it's a tank. It's a vessel, right. And that tank is still here, but we're using that we're using that second compressor to help drive that through okay. the economizer tank So you're tank taking cycle. it to a whole new level, basically. Correct. And what the difference wow. that can okay. mean is in this capacity, almost 3% additional efficiency. So you've got the flash gas from the condenser. Condenser flash, right? And, it's, and some of that gas doesn't need to go back through the entire compressor. It, correct. So we put it into... Okay. And a, it will, we'll it put it in to the economizer, okay. yep. And then we'll bring it back and reintroduce it. So, got it. Yep. And so that's just an efficiency piece because you say you got to run a second compressor. You've got to be getting, you got to get to significant, right. and 3%, nearly 3% is significant. In the chiller, centrifugal chiller oh, world. Especially, at, like, this, especially yeah. at this tonnage size. So it's worth, it's worth what it takes to run that second compressor for that economized cycle. But that's that whole package you see up top here. Okay. So. And this, this um, I might be showing my ignorance here, but. That's okay. 
This, oh, is a, this. this is a two pass, but isn't this usually done internally to the? It, it normally is. So okay. again, when you're here in the lab. I was lab, scared to ask that. No, <laughs> there, it, no it is, that's the right question. Right, as we've talked throughout, one of the things that you find in the lab is Oh, I got gotcha. you. Bits and pieces of stuff that you're using right, right. and testing and trying and, hey, I've got this. It's going to perform the same function, but this isn't necessarily how I'm going to build it. Right? This is not a production model. Got it. Right? You're trying to get data. I'm trying to get data. I'm and you're, d you're doing replicating it. That. I mean, this R recently released YKCP mm -hmm. product, which is that economized cycle uses that R8 compressor and gets me about 3,000 tons on 1234, wouldn't have this, right, in a production model. Got it. But right. a lot of the data that allowed us to launch that product oh, just see. a few months ago came from this setup right here. Got it. Okay. So, well, I'm glad I asked. I didn't, yep. I didn't completely yep. embarrass myself. No, so no, no. This is, the, this is part of the, again, this is part of the look at it from a standpoint of what we're trying to capture and a little bit less of, sure. is this exactly how you would build it to me? And so, this is a flooded or falling film or a hybrid? So the other adaption of this, the, the predecessor to this product, mm -hmm. which was also an economized cycle, our YKEP, now a CP, had just a flooded evaporator, flooded mm -hmm. tube design. So we brought the hybrid falling film right. technology that we have in our other YKs into this product. And sometimes those are things that happen and only make sense when you're doing a major product revision, right? To try Got to it. bring that across as just sort of right. an incremental change usually isn't cost effective for anybody, not yeah. just a development standpoint, but even from a customer standpoint. So when we were redoing the product and looking at yet further improvements, and then of course optimizing it for new refrigerants, we said now's the time to introduce right. the falling film and pick up the, all the advantages we have of that that we've already brought to other, other products in the YK product. And I think we'll have a place we can see some tubes and tube sheets to show that. But And we will, yep. The other, the other piece you'll see in here, small detail, but in terms of how this product will be able to, or versions of this product will be able to scale from a standpoint of manufacturing capability, you'll notice that these are sitting on saddles. Normally, this shell would be, you'd flip this 180 and it would sit on this. Oh yeah, yeah. It would sit on this end sheet piece. Is it Now we're sitting here on a saddle. So, so on a production model, you wouldn't have these, right? And it'll sit on the, Got the it. saddles, but the saddles will stay consistent. Yeah. And then I can change lengths of the, the barrels, right? Sure. To match the capacity and efficiency that I want. And they, they can sit essentially on the same stru nice. support structure without need for those end sheets. Mm -hmm. So just a, a production efficiency, go faster, cost reduction, right? That can benefit mm -hmm. everybody. Another chiller innovation. Another chiller innovation. They're Trying all Trying to get it done. Absolutely.